Hey everybody, um, today we're making some homemade cauliflower risotto with a fresh homemade uh, cheese sauce to go over the top. So right now what we did is we took our cauliflower, a whole head, and just did a nice little pulse mix in the Ninja. And you can see our tiny little working space. And then right now we're just going to go ahead and put it in a container. And once we get it all in the container nicely, we're going to microwave it just for a few minutes to warm it up and get it nice and warm, then we'll let it cool down. So once you get this all in there, just put it in the microwave. Just put in that three minutes at a time, rotate it about two to three times. Just keep making sure to stir it, that way it heats evenly. All right, so now we got our cauliflower, nice and blended to a rice light texture. It's got a nice little moisture in there, we're gonna need that, just to keep it from drying out. So we're gonna let it rest in the microwave here until we're ready. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is gonna chop up some mushrooms. So we got two different types here. You can use whatever kind of mushrooms you want, portobellos or anything at the local grocery store. We prefer organic just to avoid any chemicals in the body. And also this is our little twist on risotto. So we're going to add a little bit of chunk zucchini. So we're going to chop it maybe thin slices and we're going to saute that up. And then we're also going to saute it up with a little onion. Everybody loves onions with the mushrooms. They act on each other and great flavors. Um, adds a nice little pop to the meal. And then to saute it, we're just going to go ahead and use a nice little organic olive oil. Uh, first press is the best, and if you can get cold press, definitely do so. Always invest more money in your olive oils. You can taste the difference in the high quality. So I'm going to go ahead and chop these up now, and we'll get back to you once we got them chopped up and ready to saute. All right, so we got all of our vegetables chopped up. We've got a nice dicing on the onions. They're a little rough right now because we're using a cheap little serrated chopping knife. For anybody who's doing some real cooking, please get real knives. And we got our zucchinis and quarters. They're a little bit large too, rough cut. You can cut them smaller, bigger, doesn't really matter. You're going to cook them up, they're going to shrink a little bit. And then we got our bite sized mushrooms. When chopping everything, try to keep it bite sized. So right now we got a skillet working. Hopefully you have a stove top, it'll make life a whole lot easier for you. So right now I got my skillet on about 300 degrees, so it's about a medium, medium high um, at home on your stoves. Just going to give that a nice little oil covering there. Let that heat up for just a moment. Now if you do have garlic at home, we ran out, absolutely add it. It'll add a nice little punch of flavor, give it a little bit more Italian zest. So we're just going to go ahead and throw our onions on there. Just going to go ahead and get those a little tender. Now mushrooms take a little bit longer, so we're going to go ahead and throw them in right away. Now if only I knew this. Oh, got to get my spatula. Go ahead and give that a little twist around. Now you can hear right now we got our cauliflower going in around one to three minutes. Going to go ahead and stir that up once it beeps. Right now we're just going to go ahead and start sauteing all of our vegetables. Once you get this work down, we're going to go ahead and add our zucchini back in to this mixture. Give it a little salt, give it a little pepper, and then we're going to start working on our cheese. We're going to turn this down to a little bit lower of a heat. Because what we're going to do is we're going to grate our cheese so that way we can put our stick of butter, well, four tablespoons, with about three quarters of a cup cheese just to get a nice little balance. Um, that's all the butter, unfortunately, I've left. Otherwise, we'd do a little bit more. All right, so we just got done sauteing our zucchini with the mushrooms and onions. A little translucent, nice and hot. Just set that aside, because all we got is the skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn our cauliflower. Now, at home, Make sure to just saute all of your vegetables and mushrooms, and then in a separate saucepan, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and make your cheese mixture, which is about what we're going to do right now. So we're going to just put this in for another round of three minutes. All right, so to get going, I'm going to turn on the heat so we don't scorch the cheese too much. It's going to take our butter, just drop it down out there. It's best if you have that room temperature, then it'll melt faster. So just go ahead and move that around until it's melted down. Alright, so we got our butter completely melted down. 
And now when getting butter, make sure it's butter, um, not margarine. Find ones that are organic, if possible, hormone-free, RBST-free. You'll get a higher quality. So now we're going to take our cheese. We're using Asiago from Wisconsin, aged a few years, just for a little bit more rich flavor. You can really use any kind of white cheese you want. You can use a, a white mozzarella or a white cheddar, a mild maybe, or a Parmesan. If you just want to go ahead, take your cheese, sprinkle it around inside that butter. We're going to go ahead and melt it down into a nice creamy sauce. Always relax with a nice little cocktail when cooking. Enjoy what you're doing. Gonna have to throw in some salt. Some nice little pep peppercorn. Fresh is the best. And never be afraid of your salt and peppers. You really want the flavors to shine through. So now you're just gonna go ahead and move that around until it becomes a nice little creamy sauce and gathers together. You can see it already nice and getting melty. Go ahead and turn the heat up on this a little bit more. Make sure to incorporate that butter. That's where all the flavor is. If you're doing this right now and watching me, you probably noticed your cheese sauce is a little bit runny right now. You still got the butter separated. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and take a little tablespoon or two of any kind of flour. I like to use an almond flour or coconut flour just because it's gluten free as well as uh, healthier and less possibility of it being a genetically modified flour or grain. So now just go ahead and mix that up, and that's going to make it a little bit more creamy and absorb that liquid. So just stir it until it's all mixed in nicely. And this might take a couple minutes at a low heat. Just make sure you got it on a low to medium heat. So, a little tidbit. When you're melting down the butter and the cheese, Melt on your butter, then put in your cauliflower or pasta, and then go ahead and mix in the cheese. It'll string out a little bit better. But you can always do it this way too. It just doesn't uh, look as you would expect it to. So we got our cauliflower nice and heated up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to our mixture of cheese and butter. And now this is where you wanna be quick and keep stirring it together. So we're gonna get all that loaded in. I'll just keep folding that in on itself. And that's gonna go ahead and absorb all the nice little butter and cheese. It's gonna be so delicious. And this time we might have wanted to add a little bit more cheese, but you know what? It'll do the job. The flavors are there, it's already smelling delicious. I'm sure your home is smelling delightful right now too, if you are cooking along with. Alright. So it's okay if you're making mistakes or any errors. It's my first time making this dish. I noticed it was getting a little dry, not as runny as I'd like, so I didn't have enough cheese. So I took out a little fresh uh, chunk of our mozzarella cheese. And now I'm just going to go ahead and shave about hmm, a quarter of the little stick of eight ounces just to go ahead and get it nice and liquefied. So we're going to be adding in all those other vegetables in just a moment here. So feel free to add cheese and a little bit of heavy milk or whipping cream as you go along, just to give it a nice little consistency that you're looking for. Alright, so we got our cauliflower risotto looking quite nice here. We got nice little runny consistency. We just added a little bit more water and a little bit more cheese until we had the right consistency. Add a little bit more salt and pepper to taste. Always give it the occasional taste too. I'm a burn victim so I gotta wait and blow really hard. Mm. Delicious. Now we're going to go ahead and take our vegetables and work them in. And this is your final step. And you are ready for the most delicious cauliflower risotto you have ever had. Alright, now the final touches. 
we just go on ahead and stir and now we serve you can serve it in a bowl or in a plate and that is delightful cheese stretching all your vegetables nice and translucent look at that just stays together that is beautiful I hope you enjoy this meal by Progressive Transitions, Nitalik, and Sarah Doyle. Alright, before we say goodbye, let's try our dish. We worked hard. Mm. You and your family, you and your friends are going to absolutely love this meal. Healthy, delicious, fresh, outstanding. Enjoy. Bon appetit.